You could be in prison or find $10,000 for saying the wrong thing on your CB radio. I, I need some clarification, my guy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Who did it? TikTok. Who, did it? Who else? TikTok. TikTok. TikTok did it again. TikTok with the bullshit, bro. What that's, that, that's why I do not understand why everybody that's interested in coming into trucking, they always run over to TikTok. Like, TikTok is like the place to go for trucking information, bro. It, because they're into the, they're into the artificial way of learning and understanding and social media is their teacher well bro i i need clarification man you from an era before all this social media stuff came into play and to conversate and have any kind of information with the drivers out here it came by way of the cb right yeah if you had, yeah 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 the cb which is a citizens band radio right radio. AM frequency, a, which will never die. Right. This was you guys' mode of communications of communicating with with one another back in the day, right? Even now, we still we still out here. We ain't get, we ain't, we ain't let y'all okay. We ain't let y'all run us away. All right. So I need you to listen to what this dude is saying, and I need you to put your commentary on it. You ready? All right. Yeah. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on! You could be in prison or find $10,000 for saying the wrong thing on your CV radio. Any advertising, music, sound effects to attract attention, singing, humming, they're actually all illegal on your CB radio. It's also illegal to try to reach somebody who's over 250 kilometers away or 155 miles. Swearing is actually also illegal. Federal law prohibits obscene, indecent, and profane content from being broadcasted on any radio channel to the public. And if you really like talking, this one's for you. Talking for more than five minutes straight without a one minute break is also illegal. And remember, channel nine is only for emergencies, but if there's an emergency on any channel, you must give way to the emergency broadcast. Did you know? Now, listen, doing like, doing this you time. You want me to answer to that? I, I, I would get your answer in a minute. Doing, doing this time, the CB radio is really not a big deal right now because everybody don't have a CB radio. But him coming on with these quote unquote scare tactics, I just need clarification on if it's true or not. All right, well, he said our FCC rules from back in the day. All right, we used to, we do what we call skip. Shoot and skip is when I'm in New Jersey and I got clear airwaves and I'm talking to somebody in Texas. I'm talking to somebody down in Louisiana. I'm talking to somebody in Florida. That's called skip talking. And how you could do that, you have to add water to your four own frequency. According to FCC, that they made that illegal for us because... Being able to communicate overseas, they didn't want that. So the things that he did say are under FCC rules. Do they enforce it? No. Have I had an issue with it? Yes. I've had FCC come to my house because of my base station and because of my suburban. And they did confiscate some things from us. And all we did was repurchase some new ones. <laughs> Kept on talking. Even to this day, I run over 1,000 watts out of my truck. So if I want to talk, I'm going to talk. If I want to be heard, I'm going to be heard. And that's all to it. So what he did say... Yes, that those are FCC guidelines and rules and regulations. Now, why he's doing it, I don't know what, what stirred that hornet's nest for him to come on, whatever he did to bring that to the light. But all he's going to do is take all these uh, new males and females out here and scare them away from being able to communicate because, see, the CB radio came into trucking in the uh, early 70s for communication on location, how to get to our address, traffic, weather. So... These are the things that we use to keep our ride safe. If the bears was in the woods and hiding, which is illegal for them to do, we would point it out. Let them, if you go on west, you let the east know. If the east go on east, then they let the west know. North go on south, vice versa. And that would give you opportunity to slow down and get, you know, and pass with caution. They also have CB radios and police cars. Why? Because Channel 9 is an emergency channel. They, we go to Channel 9 for an emergency. If there was an accident or you saw somebody go down in the ditch, you would go on to Channel 9, you break the channel, break 9, break 9, we have a 911, an officer would answer. And you would tell him where you saw what X, Y, Z. So everything he did say, yes, that's true. But why is he doing it? I don't know. I don't know what made that conversation because today's drivers, they don't know nothing about communicating. They are only strictly to their phones 
They don't know their way around because they stick to a GPS, and GPS is programmed by some idiot who sometimes knows where he's going, and then sometimes they don't. Like most GPSs are, is that a good word, GPS is plural? All right, most GPS are programmed by cars. Very rarely do you see the trucks with the GPS cameras and all that stuff on it. Very rarely. So what they have to do is go back to wherever they're going and then schematically make it so they have a truck route, but that's far. So a lot of these GPS are car routes. So if you have a CB radio, I get on there and I see you go, hey, southbound, you know what exit I get off to get to Allentown, PA. And they'll come back, hey, driver, get off exit 49. Where are you trying to go? You tell them the name of the car. Oh, yeah, when you get off, make a right, boom, 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 they give you GPS. Nowadays, you pick up the mic and break the channel, break one nine. Anybody got a copy? That's all you hear. Unless you see a bull hauler, oversized. You know, you see owner operators of my era. We still communicate. I can look across the highway and tell if that's a real operator. I don't even waste my time. And then they can do the same for me. I get it all the time. Hey, DSX, you got your ears on? Yeah, what's that? And we go from there. So is it true that you can be in prison for some of the some of the things that he mentioned in that video can you, can you go to jail for it actually i've never known nobody to go to jail i'm a, I'm a licensed ham operator as well i've never known i've i've known us to get fined i've known our stuff to get confiscated i've never seen the federal communication lock anybody up it's federal so if they choose to take you to federal court now depending on what what happened if you're doing some ter- some some terroristic shit on the radio, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can see some fed time. But we didn't curse on the radio. So, I mean, it would be so quick, they wouldn't know who said it. You know, today's drivers, you hear, I don't have a TV radio because I want to hear all that racism stuff. Well, that racism stuff wasn't real. It was just conversation. A lot of it was just conversation to make that 500-mile to 1,000-mile ride go, go faster. We would literally wink up out of Jersey and head to down bottom, which is Miami. And everybody knows, anybody knows me long enough, no, we, sh- we shoot that first 900 miles from Jersey to Jacksonville nonstop because then we got to fuel up. You talk on the radio. You get a little tired. Hey, driver, you swerved a little bit. You good? Bring them, make them pick up the radio talk. Give them some little energy. All right, jump in behind me. We, we'll carry the rest of the way. Now you good. If we run the left lane, four or five of us, and we see a solo guy out there, if he has a radio, We'll see if we can get him on the radio. You good? You awake? You need anything? If he tells us good, he good, he good. That train keep it moving. If he said, oh, man, I'm a little tired right now, but I got another 200 miles to go, we'll break it down, slide over. Hey, throw him in the rocking chair. We're going to take him the rest of the 200 miles. And that's what we did. That's what we do. Today's drivers, we can't really do that to them because they don't, they don't have no communication with us. They call us super truckers. Yes, yeah, if that's what you want to call us, fine. But uh, we've been doing this before social media. Y'all came in here because of social media. Y'all have no clue what this industry is about. Somebody told you about a bag. We still looking for this bag. The bag you're getting, I was getting in high school. You're not making no phone calls to shippers and brokers and receivers and and, and customers telling them that, hey, I'm such and such, I own such and such, and I got a truck in your area. No, you're you're going through some company or some brokers, and you're, you're falling down to the wayside. So, yeah, we're super truckers. Call us whatever you want. But we get the goddamn job done on the CB radio. And that's what we do. And if you're on the CB radio, you happen to see DS. Hey, Drill Sergeant, that's me. I'll be fine. I'm ready on right now. Out there, I got a copy of Drill Sergeant on this big worldwide station standing by. And on that note, we're out of here, man. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes. Look, Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.